It's Thursday, September 9th, 2010, and this is an early episode of This Week in Linux News. Yes, I'm going to try to get this up on Thursday night, because tomorrow, Friday, I have to leave decently early to go to Ohio Linux Fest. If I haven't reminded you enough times, Saturday I'm actually going to be presenting at Ohio Linux Fest. I'm going to be talking about Caden Live, so if you're in the area, I think they've still got some, uh, some registrations available. You can register at the door. It's completely free, so if you're in the Columbus area, come hang out with us. It'll be fun. But let's get to the news. Google had some sort of a search live event this week, and they've unveiled a new product called Search Instant with the tagline for that being search now faster than the speed of type. And basically what that means is when you start typing into Google now, it decides what it thinks you want to search for and it searches for it. So it starts using your bandwidth as soon as you type one character and then you may or may not want what it finds. They claim it's going to save people several seconds per search, which could add up to hours and days and years for the whole of humanity. I know it's not Linux related, but I thought it was kind of cool and it has been helpful so far. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the tablet news. I'd rather not put it at the end because quite frankly, it's not great news. Asus has unveiled they're going to be making an e-tablet. We've expected this for quite a while now, but now they've come out and said we're making one. It's going to be 190 pounds. That's about 300 US dollars. It's going to be released in October. It's got an eight inch screen and a 1024 by 768 resolution. So it's actually pretty similar to a netbook with the keyboard chopped off. The problem that I see with this is it comes with an LCD screen with no backlight, as opposed to the traditional lit LED screens or the e-ink screens for like the Kindle or other e-readers like that. So it's kind of bridging a gap, but not terribly well. Uh, it does not come in color. It only comes in 64 shades of gray, so it looks like it's more of an e-reader than a tablet, but it's coming running Android, so it's got all of the Android functionality, web browsing and other things but you can only do it in gray. So I don't know what market this is supposed to fit, and for $300, a backlight and some color would definitely be nice. In addition, it comes with a two megapixel camera and an audio recorder. No word on whether the camera is shades of gray only or not as well. Now on the complete other end of the tablet spectrum, the No is coming soon. I'm assuming it's No. It's actually spelled K-N-O, so it could be Kano. It could be any number of pronunciations. It's expected to be released before the end of the year. And honestly, this thing seems to be chock full of awesome. It's a dual screen flip open open device with 14.1 inch screens on either side. It has a Tegra 2 chip in it and 16 gigs of internal storage. There's a little bit more information on their website. I'll of course have a link to that in the show notes in the doobly-doo. The problem that I see with this one is the CEO says we expect to be able to release it for less than $1,000. Yeah, tablets for $1,000, people will not pay it. I'm sorry, they might, there might be a handful of people that will, but the grand majority are going to say 1000 bucks. no thank you. If they can get it down to the $500 mark for a dual 14-inch screen thing, yeah, they, w they will sell out. They will make billions of dollars. All right, let's talk about some distro release news. The Lubuntu 10.10 beta released, and I assume that there were probably a dozen other Ubuntu derivatives that are going to be releasing this week as well. And speaking of Ubuntu derivatives, or not so much, Linux Mint 9 Fluxbox Edition released this week. If you're a Linux Mint user and you like Fluxbox, this is great for you. But in slightly different news, Linux Mint Debian 2010.09, the first official release of Linux Mint on a Debian base, released this week. This week. I made a video about that also. If you'd like to check that out, there will be a link over here and in the doobly-doo. Basically, this allows Linux Mint to be a rolling release and based upon Debian instead of Ubuntu, so it is theoretically a little bit more stable and possibly less buggy. I will leave that up to you to decide. And while we're on the topic of Ubuntu and things of that nature, if you're a Mac user, this might be awesome for you. Ubuntu 10.10 .10 is going to be one of the first distros to get an official driver for the Magic Trackpad. Yes, the developer said he's added it to the Magic Mouse driver that's existing for Ubuntu, and eventually the they're planning to push it upstream to the Linux kernel itself. They expect it to be added by 2.6.37, so who knows when that will actually be, but they're already developing 2.6.36, so it can't be that long from now. In late breaking news, Broadcom has announced that they're open sourcing their wireless drivers for Linux. I don't know how many of you out there just did it, but when I heard this, I stood up and I clapped because Broadcom has had one of the worst driver situations for Linux for I don't know how long. Now your wireless card might not work with this driver at the moment. There are only about three chipsets that really work with it, but they're looking to expand to a lot of other Mac 802.11n type Broadcom cards. And to close things up, let's talk about gaming just a little bit. The creators of Penumbra, the game that was concluded in the Humble Indie Bundle, have created a game called Amnesia The Dark Descent. The demo is now available for Linux, Windows, and Mac, and if you want to try it out, go for it. I just checked on Arch, and it's already in the AUR. I've already installed it, and I'm going to be giving it a look right now. Yes, if I hadn't mentioned it before, Arch Linux plus the AUR, 
awesome. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching. If you're coming to OLF, make sure to stop by and say hi. I will be sitting at the ProTech LLC booth most of the day Saturday. Thank you for watching again, though, and I will see you next time.